Wait a minute. Hey, our squad. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am and you stumbled and fell Ow! That hurt. Someone that fell apart my channel, then welcome. I'm happy to have you here. My name is Ronke. Today I'm going to be doing a very, very fun video. I'm going to be testing out 7 Eleven makeup. So I have all 7 Eleven makeup here. So do not forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Follow me on all my social media and let's just jump right into testing the makeup. 7-Eleven just came out with their new makeup line about two weeks ago. I bought almost everything on in the line. I actually didn't buy the deep concealer. I bought the medium concealer. So that was my bad, but I still used it because I do use a lighter concealer under my eyes anyway. So let me start by saying that I already know based on the prices that they're not going to be that great quality. Not saying that products that are cheap are bad quality, but we have to be realistic, you know? And if you are a black woman or a woman of color, <laughs> it's a joke. It's all a joke. This is the darkest shade. Actually, this is the only dark shade. There are three shades of the BB cream. There's no foundation, it's just a BB cream. The BB cream is a lightweight multitasker. It helps hydrate, correct, and protect skin while providing deep, buildable coverage for a radiant, youthful complexion as well as helps even our skin. I also got the brush to apply it with. Like I got everything. I was just like, okay, I've seen this video done and because I'm brown, I was like, oh, let me see how it looks on my skin tone, you know, that kind of thing. It's not gonna be my shade. I already know looking at it that it's not gonna be my shade. So let us continue blending. This is what 7-Eleven thinks deep is. So therefore, I will continue blending. Really wondering who they formulated this for. It looks very brown. But then when you apply it, it, uh, uh, is, does it oxidize? It oxidizes into like a weird color. I'm just gonna ignore the fact that this doesn't match me and just think happy thoughts and um, happy thoughts. Like, you know when you're trying to like actually find the good because you don't want to be negative. I mean, we obviously cannot expect 7-Eleven to get the shade of foundation, the brown skin, because I don't even know whose skin this is. Like, I'm trying to figure out whose skin tone this is. What is this? Like, what am I to continue blending it? Anyway, so it also has a beauty sponge, blender sponge. It's pink. You know, like the beauty blender, except it's not the beauty blender. <laughs> Let me go wet this. It is soft-ish. No, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard. It's one of those beauty blenders that if you throw at somebody, the person would definitely lose a few brain cells. This sponge did not change shape. <laughs> it literally just feels wet. But, it, I, like, as I was washing it, I was thinking to myself, like, do I really expect somebody to buy this? It's not, like... I don't know who would use this. What would what would this be used for? I mean, you could buy it to decorate your house. Like, you know how they have like beauty blender trees and stuff? This would be great for that. So if you want to get this, get this to decorate. This is, this doesn't have functional use in makeup. This so will still use it to blend. Funny enough, it doesn't blend out bad. It's taking the product off. But then again, this foundation itself is already kind of interesting. I would say it's not that bad at first, like it actually blended the foundation and it's not patchy. Now that I look like uh, gray, I don't even know what color it is. We're gonna move on to concealer. So uh, the concealer is in the shade medium actually. I don't know why I didn't buy it deep. And I'm gonna do it like I usually do where I leave on the concealer a little bit and see how it blends out. So. Just gonna put it under my eye. Disguises, blemishes, scars, dark spots, and other imperfections with this luxuriously creamy concealer. Blend well and your complexion will appear even toned and flawless. What is this meaning? What does this mean? I think it's like oxidizing dark. So this BB cream is hydrating, I will say that, but like that's all. It looks like it's hydrating my skin. I'm gonna blend out again with the sponge. 
and no coverage. There's no, nothing is happening. There's no difference. Looks like oil. Looks like I'm applying oil under my eyes. I mean, it, it's brightening a little bit. Try not to be like all the way negative, you know? I'm done blending all that out. As you can see, nothing has changed. Now we're gonna go in with the translucent all shades matte powder. When you claim that something is all shades, I would expect for this to work for me. Why do people do why do people come out with cosmetics brands and just try and deceive us? Are we not smart? We know these things, we know that it's not anyway. Use this luxurious compact to reduce shine throughout the day, or use it as a setting powder to perfect your foundation. This translucent powder will add freshness to your complexion without altering your makeup or appearance of skin tone. I think they just copy and pasted this from the interweb. So I'm gonna use the sponge and just use that to apply the powder okay and i guess i'm baking or something so i'm just gonna use <sighs> shouldn't use the sponge this sponge was not the greatest to begin with let's use a brush i'm gonna just use the blush brush um i don't think i should bake with this powder oh wow all right let me put on some more <laughs> You guys, I don't know who sent me to do this, man. Because this is no, not translucent powder that you can put on with the sponge. So I'm just going to put on the translucent powder. I look like I have just stepped out of a horror movie. And I'm giving you guys Halloween vibes. Not really sure what's going on. Okay, so... Now that I look like the Bride of Chucky, this is the Sun Glow Matte and Shimmer Bronzer. Aside from the concealer, I got the darkest shade in all the makeup. Um, so I'm going to use the dark shade of this. So let us see. I feel like something good may come out of this bronzer. So let me see. Okay. I knew it. It is not bad. And this brush is not bad either. Um, so this is <laughs> the first product that is not bad this is the first product that's not bad I could use this as a blush actually All right, so there's two powders there's one that's dark for contour and this powder so i'm going to use this powder all over my face to just warm up my complexion because obviously as you can see right now my complexion does not look like a complexion it looks gray so I'm just going to use this to set the rest of my face so it can bring back some type of skin tone to it. Blush I already know is not going to be bad at all either. As I said, it is very powdery. It has a lot of um, fallout, but products have fallout. I'm not I'm not too biased about that. So I'm going to use the dark, the dark coral uh, side and I'm just going to blend that in. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Uh, I just keep looking at myself and I'm like, who do you think you're fooling? This is horrible. <laughs> so I'm now going to go in with the brow powder and wax. This is in the color dark. So let me try the wax first. It comes with a little tiny brush, which is so cute. So the wax is not doing anything, so I'm going to use the powder. And the powder is definitely black. It's not, it says it's dark, but it's black. So I'm going to mix the powder with the wax to see if I can maybe tone it down a little bit i don't know if, you, if somebody was a little darker than me this would actually be their brow color and i'm trying to do it as precise as possible given that this brush is so tiny concealer is definitely feels like water it's like water with a little bit of pigment in it that's how it feels so i'm done let me just conceal my eyes. Okay, let me use the foundation brush, the flat foundation brush, to conceal my eyes. Okay. So I'm gonna use this shade as a transition color first. This is their eyeshadow blending brush. So I'm gonna assume that this is gonna blend my eyeshadow. Okay. This is not a bad eyeshadow palette. Again, if you're a beginner, it's not bad at all. I'm going to use the purpley shade. Let's create dimension. 
It's a dark purple. The darkest, darkest shade of palette on my outer corner. As I'm swiping the brush, it's literally just coming off. <laughs> hey, God. Alright, so I'm gonna just pack that light pink shade on my head. So they have a felt tip liner. This is a Simply Me Beauty felt tip liner. And I'm gonna use this for my eyes to create like a nice wing. It's not very black, but it's not bad. This is a Simply Me Beauty Radiant Highlighter. I'm going to use the brush that it comes with. It's this little short haired brush. It definitely feels like scratchy but i don't want to use this yellow shade i'm going to use this warm bronze shade this doesn't do anything <clears throat> Ooh, beaming this is not a highlighter it's not doing anything okay the line has about i think four or five lipsticks it has lip glosses it has lip crayons you can never go wrong with lip products unless they slip off your lips and this is in the color wine and yeah this is a good lipstick i'm gonna use their mascara the wand is nice um it has like a spiky wand so i'm just gonna use the mascara These are the lashes. Instantly adds extreme drama and appeal with flirty lashes. These dramatic lashes are perfect for a night out and are easily removed. That I can definitely believe. So cute. It's like a little tiny glue. The glue is not coming out. There's nothing in it. It's like air. It's air. There's, there's nothing in it. Wow. I'm going to use my regular duo glue because I don't know what just happened right now. Okay. I'm also going to use the mascara. Overall, I don't like the BB cream, don't like the concealer, don't like the translucent powder. Um, this sponge is a waste. It's a super, super big waste. I don't even know what they presumed for this to be used for. So that is a waste. Throwing that away. I don't want to forget uh, that you need to beam. Do you see my highlighter? Of course you don't. Because it's non-existent! <laughs> okay. 